What to say after kissing? Embracing a kiss can be a beautiful and intimate moment in any relationship, be it a first-time encounter or with a long-time partner. However, navigating the aftermath can be a tad awkward or perplexing. Should you say something? Maintain silence. How do you react if the kiss exceeded expectations or fell short? This video aims to be your guide through these moments, offering practical advice on what to say after a kiss. For those enchanting occasions when a kiss feels just perfect, expressing your emotions can elevate the experience, fostering a deeper connection and making the moment even more memorable. Yet, it's not solely about fairy tale moments, sometimes, an unexpected or unwanted kiss might occur. Understanding how to respond in such situations is crucial for safeguarding your comfort and setting boundaries. In this video, we'll delve into an array of responses crafted for both scenarios. Whether it's sweet, heartfelt expressions following a wonderful kiss or clear, firm statements in the face of an unwelcome one, you'll discover effective ways to communicate and navigate these post-kiss moments. How do you respond after a kiss? 1. Gauge the moment. Following a kiss, it becomes crucial to gauge the atmosphere. Lock eyes with your partner and perceive their emotions. Are they smiling, radiating contentment, or expressing an eagerness for more? Their facial expression can serve as a compass for your next actions. Perhaps a tender smile or a gentle gaze can convey your sentiments without the need for words. This moment emphasizes nonverbal communication, allowing you to sense the emotional nuances of the situation. 2. Express yourself verbally. Occasionally, injecting sweetness or expressing appreciation can elevate the moment. A straightforward, that was delightful, or, I've been longing for that, imparts a personal and intimate touch. There's no need for intricate poetry, authentic, sincere words carry substantial weight. Keep in mind that honesty is paramount, your words should genuinely mirror your feelings about the kiss and your connection with the person. 3. Go for a gentle touch. A tender, affectionate gesture can convey a lot after a kiss. Whether it's a gentle hand on the cheek, a warm hug, or interlocking fingers, these actions can strengthen your connection and express your fondness. Physical touch has the power to convey emotions that words might not capture fully, fostering a sense of closeness and intimacy that beautifully complements the kiss. 4. Respect their comfort zone. Consistently remain aware of your partner's comfort level. People express affection differently, and some may prefer a bit of space after a kiss. If you notice them pulling back or indicating a desire for distance, it's crucial to respect that boundary. The primary goal is to ensure that both individuals feel at ease and respected. In any intimate moment, prioritizing consent and mutual comfort is of utmost importance. 5. Plan what's next. Consider the next move carefully. Is it an opportune time to propose another date or extend the evening together? Alternatively, it might be a moment to savor before bidding farewell. Based on the context and the mutual connection sensed, you can propose future plans or relish the afterglow of the moment. Keep the atmosphere light and refrain from applying undue pressure, allow things to unfold organically. Sample things to say after a great kiss. Wow, that was amazing. I've been waiting for that. You're an incredible kisser. I'd love to kiss you again. That kiss just made my day. Can we do that again? I didn't want that to end. You have no idea how long I've thought about that. That was even better than I imagined. I feel so connected to you now. I'm so glad we did that. You just took my breath away. That was really special. I think you just made me believe in magic. I didn't know a kiss could feel that good. You've got some serious skills there. I think my heart skipped a beat. That was worth waiting for. I'm speechless, in the best way. You just made my heart race. 
That kiss was everything I hoped for and more. I'm already looking forward to the next one. That was a moment I don't want to forget. You've just made me the happiest person. Responding after an unwanted kiss. 1. Create physical distance. Your initial response may involve putting some distance between yourself and the other person. Stepping back or turning away can silently convey your discomfort with the recent occurrence. It's important to acknowledge that you have the right to manage your personal space, and setting clear physical boundaries is an essential initial measure. 2. Be direct and honest. Express unequivocally that the kiss was inappropriate for you. Use phrases such as, I didn't appreciate that, or, I'm not comfortable with what you just did. While there's no need to be harsh, being straightforward is crucial to avoid any potential misunderstanding regarding your feelings. 3. Keep emotions in check. In such a situation, experiencing a variety of emotions like anger, shock, or discomfort is entirely natural. Strive to maintain as much calm as possible. Keeping your emotions in check aids in effective communication, guaranteeing that your message is conveyed clearly and comprehended. 4. Set boundaries for future interactions. Establishing explicit boundaries for potential interactions might become necessary. For instance, you could express, please refrain from doing that again, or, I aim to maintain our relationship strictly platonic. Clearly defining these boundaries reaffirms your position and serves as a preventive measure against comparable situations in the future. Sample things to say after an unwanted kiss. I'm not comfortable with that. Please don't do that again. That was not okay with me. I think we need to set some boundaries. I'm not interested in that kind of relationship. That took me by surprise, and not in a good way. I want to keep our interactions respectful. I didn't appreciate that at all. Let's keep things professional slash personal, please. I need you to respect my personal space. That was unexpected and unwelcome. I don't feel the same way about you. Please respect my feelings and don't do that again. I'm not okay with what just happened. That crossed a line for me. I want to make it clear that I'm not interested. We should talk about what just happened. I think there's been a misunderstanding about our relationship. I need you to understand that was not appropriate. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.